Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Remother Tormented Fathers. In the last video, I'm making a risky move right here by just standing here, but you know what? I've got my diversion items, so if he comes up and tries to rock with me, I, I realized something at the end of the last video that no horror game lets the player do, and that is fight back. So because I have the ability to fight back and dodge and bob and weave, you know what I'm saying? If I keep those in mind, there is no reason why I should be taking my time running away from an old demented man who has his cheeks out, mind you. In the last video, we met Dr. Reed. Dr. Reed, because she's not a real doctor, I don't think, I'm not sure. Uh, at least she doesn't work for the mental institution that she claims that she does. She came to kind of like talk to Mr. Felton and find out what's going on with him, find out what is wrong with him. He, She started asking him some questions, some very personal questions about his daughter. She decides to come back to investigate after she was already kicked out. And then, uh... Hold on, I'm trying I'm trying to listen for him because even though I know I can fight back I do not want him to jump scare me she comes back to investigate a little bit more but gets locked in in the process and <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wait, how do I? Fuck, how do I hide? Shit. We're doing this, I guess. Wait, interact. I don't even think he's down here. Um, anyways. She... This can't be she gets locked... Shut up! She gets locked in in the process, and so now she has to try and find her way out, but everywhere that she has tried to get out from has been locked or doesn't exactly work out as an exit. Before the video ended, the lights went out and we have to go back down to the first floor so that we can turn the power back on. This game is a puzzle game. It's really confusing. It's got a lot of shit going on and I can't see a damn thing. See now, the thing about throwing diversion items at him when he's chasing you is it's not the smartest idea because if you don't have enough distance between you and Mr. Oh! Bitch! Oh! What? I hit him! I threw the item! I threw the item at him! Ah, fuck, it's locked! Ah, shit! 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 shit. I'm off to a bad start. I'm off to a really bad start right now. I'm off to a horrendous start! Mr. Felton, please! Mr. Felton! I'm just trying to turn your power back on. You seem to have some faulty wiring. It doesn't have to be like this! I know you're here somewhere. No, you don't. I I can't see anything. I think I have my brightness all the like really high. And even still I can't see anything. This is actually ridiculous. Whatever you're seeing on the screen is just as dark as what I'm seeing. See, I thought I could fight back. I thought I could fight back because what I was going to say was if you don't have enough distance between you and Mr. Felton, when you try to throw something, she reels back and then throws instead of just throwing. Like, you, you don't play baseball. Why are you reeling back so hard? Uh, I don't have a throwable. This is a diversion item. But where's my throwables? Fuck, I don't have any throwables. Run! Run! Ah! I don't have any throwables. God damn it! Are you doing some overtime? Yeah, I just I needed to ask you a couple questions, but you weren't available. Okay, okay. He's not running very fast. Ow! I keep trying to hit space. I'm not wasting my time hiding. This is not what we're gonna do. I need a throwable. Fuck. Okay, I got my throwable item. See the- 
bitch! Haha! Ah! Get fucked! The game does not encourage running, but I very much will, for the sake of my safety. Can I just turn the lights back on? Oh! Evade! Come on, bro! Oh, she doesn't have enough energy. Ah! Get him! Get him! Get him with the knife! Get wrecked! Okay, now what? What do you want me to do now? I don't have enough energy. Shit, come on, girl! Just, just close the door. Just close the door. Oh, come on! Come on, I'm gonna die. Come on! Ah! Fucking cocksucker! If I hide right here, can I? Is he still gonna find me? No, he's in my way. Shit, you're in my way. Come on, Brody. What is my objective now? What do you want me to do? Oh, I do have a throwable. Oh, he's right behind me, though. I have a gift for you. Bitch! Not now, I have to run. Shut up, he's not gonna see me. He has no idea I'm in here. He has no clue. He definitely didn't see me walk into this closet. <laughs> he really didn't see me walk into the closet. My man has no idea. Now, uh, yeah, so we grabbed the key. Find a way to raise the grill in the basement. Okay, you picked up the pendulum clock key. Let's see, so the pendulum clock, I think, was on the floor that I, st uh, the second floor? Maybe? I need a throwable. Before I go up there, I need a throwable. Because I'm not, I'm not facing him without picking some shit up. Mr. I feel like Dennis the Menace. Yeah, yeah. Does anybody know about Dennis the Menace? Oh, Mr. Wilson! How do I know about him? Listen, don't even worry about that. I may be young, but I know some stuff. I know about Dennis the Menace. Quit playing. This is a really risky play. But if I apply the rules of dead... Uh, why do I keep wanting to say dead by daylight? At dead of night. The names are the same. Noisy little... Ow! Ow! Oh, I don't have a- no! No! Ah! Uh, shit. And that was the, the last time I saved was before I turned the power on, too. God damn it! Who's there? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Hmm. <clears throat> You are not allowed to stay here. <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Whoa. 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 I'm not scared of you. I may be hiding, but that doesn't mean that I'm scared. Far from it. You're just an old man with a nice set of ass cheeks. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I confess the truth. They may be saggy, but you know. <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop. I'm gonna keep a nice distance away from my boy. Keep a nice distance so I can investigate them cheeks. This is not where I needed to be. Shit! Still here. Fuck! You think I'm enjoying your my aim sucks! Wait, do I need to be down one more floor? Oh my goodness. Oh, the clock is on this floor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Shit. Shit. That's okay, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good, he didn't see anything. Okay. Uh... The clock dial is missing a key. I have it! The battery compartment is- Oh! 
Wait. Huh? Oh, what am I missing? So I think that I should definitely save first. I'm being real risky right now, but I should definitely save first. I'm not gonna, but I should. Do I need the key for this? There's something up here that I needed a key for. I'm definitely missing something. Do I need the key for the oven down here? Because this is the, one of the only other things that I can think of to interact with. The oven door is stuck. Okay. What do I need the key for? Much, much, much later. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. There we go. I forgot you have to go into your inventory to use items. Okay. Whoa! Um, what the fuck? Bro, what? What? What was that? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Flag on the play. What the fuck was that? Was there something upstairs that I was supposed to do before I interacted with that? Because that doesn't make any sense. Was I supposed to run out of the way first? I am so confused and I'm kind of pissed that I didn't save. I knew I should have, God damn it. Ah! Okay, somebody in the comments better have some kind of fucking explanation for that because if I don't figure it out, if I spend the entire video trying to figure out how to get this goddamn clock key or whatever it is I need to do, I'm gonna be livid. Cause what the hell? Okay, now what the hell? So I go into my inventory. Twin key to reset the pendulum clock and face around the floor as well as this being rusty is covered in mold. Okay. So I use it. Let me back away. Let me just back away. Can I can I back away? Please, can I back away? Okay, what the hell? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I need to save real quick. I need to find a mirror or something so I can save. Because I'm not quite understanding. I'm not quite understanding how I how I died the last time. Go ahead and save. Because that is bullshit. It's bullshit. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So I, I grab for it. Wait, was there something that I was supposed to do? Like, did I, am I tripping or did I see a quick time event? Hold on, hold on, because I have saves, because I, I saved, like literally right here. I'm gonna keep, tr I, in my head? I don't know if my eyes are tweaking or if like there's actually a quick time event that I'm supposed to do to avoid that. But I could have sworn that I saw something that I was supposed to click. Oh, okay, okay, I was not tripping. And he didn't hear that? So he didn't hear that. I mean, cool, but he didn't hear that? Let me save again. I thought I saw a quick time event. Kind of ass that they hid it from you like that. <sighs> okay, now we have to get up to... Uh, wait, where did the battery go? Oh, oh, I think I know. Please don't be out here. I think the battery goes to that thing in the basement. Why did that not do a thing? Why did that not do a thing? What the hell? Throw it! Throw it! Oh my god! 
I'm out of throwables. I'm out of throwables. I'll make you noisy little. I'm out of throwables. Okay, crouch, crouch, crouch. He can't see me. He won't see me if I'm crouched. Okay, he somehow found me. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, he really won't see me now. Would you like me to enjoy your stupid game? If my game is so stupid, why can't you find me, you old bitch? Damn, boy, look at them cheeks. Hey, you do squats? Pilates? What you been doing? Damn, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Oh my god. That quick time event was kind of ass. I'm not even going to lie to you. But at least I know what to expect for the rest of the game because I guarantee you shit like that is probably going to happen again. So I think that the battery goes to this thing down here. I think. Please? No? The control panel of the ladder needs batteries. I have a I have a battery. Please. <laughs> I have a battery. I could use it on a compatible device. Well that doesn't help at all. What is said compatible device? Uh, I gotta take a second to really think about this, because this one doesn't require that kind of battery, obviously. What else have I interacted with that needs a battery? It's not the film reel upstairs, is it? Because that one said... Because that one said that it needs film. But does it also require a battery? If only I could find a battery and film. So I have the battery. Only I could find film. So the note kind of gave me an idea of, let's see, uh, I've got rid of the film, reviewing your sessions, mem mem mesmerization, only heard it, eh. I'm gonna try to take it back. I've thrown it in the oven. Oh shit. So what is it that I need to get the oven open? Fuck, could I take one of those pipes? Oh, hold on. Can I take one of those pipes that fell down from the ceiling to pry the oven open? I'm on my shit today. I'm on my shit today. I'm on my shit today. He's going to be on his shit. Crouch. Crouch. You are not allowed to stay here. <laughs> this is so funny to me. The fact that he does not see her head peeking out from above the... This is the funniest thing! That gets me every time. I mean, I'm so happy that that's the case, but... <laughs> God damn, that's funny. This is a wild guess, but I'm hoping that I can take one of these pipes, the pipe that killed me twice in an alternate universe. Please, please tell me I can take one of these. Come on. There's gotta be something I can use to pry open that fucking, oh my goodness. Maybe, maybe if I, no. What do I use to pry open? I'm so frustrated. Cause I know when this fell, I didn't investigate it and that's how I ended up finding the uh, rope that I could use to on the, on the grate. Cause I didn't actually see it fall. This time I knew that this fell and there was nothing for me to take or investigate. Which I think is so ass. There are holes to hook up some handle. So what, do I pop a handle off of a door? I don't know what you want from me, game.
Why? 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 What is that? Oh, that's the handle! <sighs> Did he hear that? He picked up... He definitely heard that. He definitely heard that. He's on his way in here right now. You weren't invited. I wasn't invited, but I'm here. It's called a party crasher, biatch. Oh, fuck. You don't see me. You don't see the top of my head. Aha. Uh -huh. Stupid. Rusty handle. That is ridiculous. I went and investigated every floor of this goddamn house. And I finally... What the hell? Shoo! What am I playing? This game is like insanely interactable. And I mean in the sense that like it expects you to do everything manually. Whereas like in most games, you know, the flies will come out and they'll go, oh, oh, no. And then you can go back to playing. But this game is like, nah, you have to shoo the bats away. Did I say flies? I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm getting to that point I'm of delusion. He should still be downstairs. So if I can get upstairs, get to that film, we can make some decent progress. Because holy shit. Trying to find the that handle. This game expects you to investigate everything. Everything. With a capital E and a capital G at the end. Everything. Which is fine. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm kind of all here for it. It's definitely a unique experience for sure. I, I have not played a game like this ever. And I've played a lot of horror games. Outlast is probably one of my favorites, but uh, this one, trying to find where everything is and it, the game not giving you a whole lot of direction, like it does not hold your hand, which is nice. It's great that the game doesn't do that because I'm an adult. I can figure it out on my own, but um, <laughs> it does get a little tedious as far as recording purposes go. Okay. Ah! He can hear this, by the way. He's definitely listening in. Mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Richard? Felton, I remind you that you Dick? were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I... I can't... Stay follow. calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she still swings. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. My entire fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? But I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? But she wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? 
When my father came back in, in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but the man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Damn! Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She should have never been born. My father, he, he hurt me to prevent me from her. Oh my god! I knew he could hear that! I'm here, doctor. I hope you found what you were looking for. Can you just let me out? I tried to warn you. You should have listened. Can you just let me leave? Is it really worth it to put yourself into this story? Can you put some pants on? Stop, you bitch! <laughs> Oh, oh lord. Oh lordy lord. Some things die and stay dead forever. You know how like a character in a movie is choking and like <laughs> you have to swallow so that you don't choke too. Sir. <laughs> Sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us. Just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar. You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> you don't understand. You, you have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. And didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. What? It was one of those arranged marriages where only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with your daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. Help me understand, sure. but let me leave first. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. Who is that? Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I, I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom. And there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No. Can't be. And yet... You saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. Disgusting murderer. You're a murderer. Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just following her orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. Find and go through the lost film. Okay. Okay. What's my objective? 
Free yourself from the hook and run away. I'm, I'm freeing! I'm freeing! I'm not getting free! Bro, can I... Can I get down, please? I knew it. Okay, um... No! Thank you! Do I have to run away from two people now? Yo! 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 Should I have been following, uh, Felton? Oh my god, what do I do now? What's my objective now? There's no way. Okay, I'm gonna go back in there and check the trash can for the film. Hide yourself from the red nun. I feel like I've been doing that. Oh, I completed it. Okay. So, what now? Next objective, please. the trash there's nothing in the trash okay okay um can i look at this no nope, nothing to say got it got it got it so this red nun here right uh i got nothing to say <laughs> what now is all is my only question is what now can i leave can i go back to the entrance can i dip Oh, I'm seeing ghosts now. I'm seeing ghosts. Jennifer. Oh, okay. Reach the loft. Follow the girl. I need some kind of chair or something. Bro, what the hell is happening? Do I still need to be weary of the nun? What the fuck is happening? I'm gonna go save real quick. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna save. Cause there is no way in hell you're gonna make me redo all that all over again. So Felton, are we cool? Are we good now? Are we chilling? Body's gone. Body's gone. The body is gone. Red nuns of Cristo Morente. Cultivation workers. Okay, flip the other side. During that fire at the field, someone survived. It's her, I've recognized her. It's like she followed Celeste. She showed up at the door a few days after her return According to Richard, this is a divine sign. He thinks this will help us have our baby back. But this is bullshit. She is our- she is our baby. His obsession with- for Jay. 
will end his obsession with Je oh Jennifer will end up killing us all. That nun, one of the workers in the field, the Ashman's daughter, she succeed she succeeded to control those disgusting moths. She became part of that thing herself, but I've smoked her out. She seeks revenge for the prototype two of Phenoxyl for everything we've done. And now she has persuaded Richard to lock me at home in the small bedroom with Celeste. There is no, there is not much I can do here. I should have done something. I should have stopped Richard at the, at that damned, that women when I could, things went out of hand. Eh, Oh, things went out of hand. I have to do something now. I have to react. I have to do it for her before the sessions take effect, before I forget, before it's too late. Cortisone, cortisone can still blind them. It can kill the... What? 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 <gasps> Do I hide? <laughs> this can't be real. No, I'm not gonna hide. I'm fine. I think I'm fine. I should be fine. I'm gonna go investigate this door. Or not the door, the whatever it is. Okay, old umbrella handle. This should help me reach the whatchamacallit. Reach the the thingy. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Save. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna go save. I'm saving. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna go do a savey. Saving! I'm saving! <laughs> That's how I'm gonna save my, my memories from now on. I'm just gonna experience something and then I'm gonna go... Yeah, right there up in the granium. God. She's got a different sound cue? The nun has a different sound cue. The nun has a different sound cue. Which, I mean, is very helpful. I appreciate that. That is terrifying. Okay. Okay, I can get to the handle. Use it! Use it! Old umbrella, use it! Oh! Okay, go upstairs, 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 upstairs. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, she's doing all this in heels. I think at that point, I would just take my shoes off. It's making too much noise. It's gonna get me killed if I trip. Absolutely not. Absolutely. I, I think I should close this, no? Somebody's gonna follow behind me. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of investigating. I see where the game wants me to go. Seems like a little girl lives in here. I do not like the idea of that. I do not like the idea of that. Nope. 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 Oh! Ah, no! Be prepared. Something is gonna jump scare me. New house, new deal, new life. Flip it over. 1965, unpacking Ariana and select. I'm Jennifer! 
Okay, so she just wanted to change her name. She didn't want to be Celeste anymore. What's so wrong with that? Yo, I'm seeing ghosts. Do not scream. Okay. Okay, so nothing was actually there? That should work. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> okay. What the hell, man? Oh! I'm not! You're a tall lady! You are very tall! Yo, what the hell? What is going on in this game? Oh, great. We're watching the nightly news. I love that. That's one of my favorite things to do. The concealer and the acting mayor. The responsible authorities are trying to make light of what has happened. Now let's go to the report. Shut us go. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Surveillance cameras show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man with the pretext of lighting a cigarette. <sighs> the woman then attacked the man, wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, then browsed the man's briefcase containing confidential information about the users who asked the phone line to be repaired. She stole the man and started driving to an unknown destination, leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a particular address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. A few hours ago, the authorities provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. Is that me? We invite you to contact us if you find yourself in the presence of this woman. Or if that you have woman looks like you. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? Who are you? I hope you'll forgive me for before, but, but you mustn't touch my things. I got my you. My things are mine. You must It will never happen again. You have my word. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. A fireplace? There, you're gonna find what you're looking for. Why do you go around here? Examine the suspicious fireplace. Can I save first? Where am I? Where am I? Have you met Gloria? No, I don't think I have. Oh, I have met Gloria. Oh, I can leave. Where am I? You picked up. What are you doing? Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Shit. What are you doing? Oh, shit. No! 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 This is not okay. This is not okay. Oh, come on, dude. Crouch, crouch. Maybe they're as stupid as Mr. Felton. Dr. Reed. Yeah, that's me. What can I help you with? The heretic and the pigs will be burnt. The ones who show the up here will be saved from the flames. Okay, I need to save. I need to save. I keep making progress, but I need to save. She clearly didn't like that I took the batteries. She was not having that. But I know where the batteries go because I've been paying attention. Is Felton still a problem? Am I still supposed to be 
concerned about Felton? Okay, I believe the batteries are supposed to go here. Nice. Now, where does this go? Come on! Today, lady! Any day now! Find whatever you need to activate. To activate the stairs controlled by the in the basement? What did that say? Okay, I got a thing. You picked up the oil can. Right, why? What the hell do I need an oil can for? Alright, I'm gonna restore my health. Because I'm tired of her. <laughs> then I'm gonna save. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, everybody get a big stretch in. We did a lot. Ugh. A lot happened, we did a lot, we saw a lot. I'm gonna write in the notes on my phone that I found an oil can, because if I don't, I'm gonna forget. And then if I forget, then... <sighs> what would the oil can go to? Jennifer was saying something about... a fireplace, and that I'd find what I was looking for. But I wouldn't use the oil can on the fireplace, would I? That would be a horrible idea! Unless there's another fireplace, I'm trying to think of my surroundings in the in the house. Because now there's a bunch of new doors that are open because of stuff that happened during the cutscenes. Should I go back to that fireplace? Okay, in the next video, I'm gonna go back to that fireplace and see what's popping there. I'm still enjoying this, I'm still having a good time. And now that I have the, the confidence to actually run around the house and, you know, like defend myself whenever things get dicey, it doesn't feel like stuff is moving as slow as it was before it's just really hard to find out what to do next because the game doesn't hold my hand and again that by no means is bad in any way i i feel that as an adult playing a mature game i should be able to use my brain and put pieces together as i continuously explore this place because you see like when i found the batteries i didn't struggle to find where they were supposed to go because in the beginning of the last episode, I was investigating everything that I was supposed to interact with, and it said that it needed batteries, and so I remembered, oh shit, I have batteries now, they go in the stairs. So now it's just a matter of, where does the oil can go? Because I feel like I've explored everywhere in the house, and never once did she say, huh, maybe I could use an oil can on this. If you want to see my last video, which was a game called Ravenous Devils, I'll have that. People who haven't watched the series are going to be very confused as to why I said it like that. I'm going to have that somewhere linked around here. And if you want to see my first video of Remothered Tormented Fathers, I'll also have that linked somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. I'm going to go take a walk. Enjoy the sun.